Hello, this is Let's Play Free Games with episode 64 of my WWE 2K14 Universe mode. Today we have the SmackDown Money in the Bank qualifiers. Uh, we've got Damien Sandow taking on Titus on Neil, Darren Young taking on Alberto Del Rio, Wade Barrett taking on Sheamus, Roman Reigns taking on JBL, and the main event Cody Rhodes, Matt Henry, Randy Orton, and The Undertaker. So, these were, in the these were all guys in the top 12, so. I'd say top 13 because I didn't want Carly in the match, so. Yeah. I'll be honest, no one wants to see Carly, though. No one likes Carly. I suppose we've got to turn the volume up to get ready to go with our first match of the evening. Going off between Damien Sando and Titus O'Neill. Oh. Opening with Damien Sandow and Titus O'Neil. This is the second time um, in two episodes that Damien Sandow's opened the show, so I must be pretty happy about that, or not. <laughs> Sandow did defeat The Miz last night um, on main event. Whoever wins this goes on to the Money in the Bank ladder match, so. High stakes. High pieces of meat. That was meant to be a terrible joke, and it was a terrible joke, so yeah. Um, so, Titus O'Neil apparently is a ghetto blaster. Unless that's Sandow who's a ghetto blaster. I don't know. I don't know why. There's a ghetto blaster sign, but... Well, if my dad's home or not, so if my dad is home, he might come into my room any time, but if he's not home, then... Good. But I think he is home. I'm, I'm, I can hear stuff downstairs, so I'm, I'm assuming that's him, unless it's some robber. Millions of dollars, millions of dollars. You know what would have really been a smart move? To align the primetime players with Ted DiBiase. Maybe I'll do that at some point. And again, maybe not. So I doubt Titus and Darren are going to ECW anytime soon. I doubt uh, Ted DiBiase is coming to SmackDown anytime soon. So Maybe in the next game. If they're all in the next game. I know Titus and Darren will be, but they won't be as the primetime players though, which is shit, I suppose. I could just make the primetime players, actually. I thought I'm complaining about something I could just change myself. Self-professed saviour of the masses. That guy must have loads of different signs. I've seen him put up like five signs, by which I mean three. No one else is putting up a sign. Oh, Clash of the Titus. Somebody wants, hit, uh, wants Titus on to hit Clash of the Titus. There's absolutely no signage in this match. 
You can tell how much people don't aren't fans of O'Neill and Sandow. Beast mode. I'm just reading out all the signs. Why am I reading out all the signs? I don't know. Power slam. And Dolph Ziggler style. Self Festivity and Masters. Ghetto Blaster. Oh, two signs. Wow. I'm guessing the Ghetto Blaster is one for Sandow because Sandow's wearing pink and purple. But Titus is wearing purple as well, so I don't know. I'll, I'll, look, on, I'll look after. See. I'll, through, I'll look through the signs. It sometimes says. I don't know. I don't know who Ghetto Blaster is for. I'm assuming it's for Sandow. Because he is the intellectual saviour of the masses and he wants everything to be perfect. And here comes the Kobito Akiet. Elbow of Disdain. Pet is kicking out. I doubt the Elbow of Disdain would have put away someone like Stone Cold. Although you never know, he has been put away by the people's elbow. Oh, is O'Neill going to get this win by submission? Yes! Titus O'Neill defeats Sandow by submission. The real deal, Damien Sandow. Oh, there's loads of signs. God damn. Press B. Press B. I need to turn the replays off. So Titus O'Neil is the first man confirmed for Money in the Bank for SmackDown. I should really be writing these down somewhere, shouldn't I? Oh well, I can look back at my videos. Even though the other ones come out, but you know. Why is Darren Young so hyperactive? He's just so hyper. It's weird. Here comes his button. I'll bet Darren. My cat wants to get in my room, but I'll let it in after. Sick. 
something like that, I don't know. Who cares? Del Rio definitely has one of the longest entrances in the game. <laughs> Just because of his ringing out, so... Ricardo. I don't know how he'd manage to get... If you can get rid of the ringing out, so please tell me because I want rid of Ricardo. But, you know... Actually, I don't want rid of Ricardo. I like Ricardo doing the announcements, but... Uh, if there's an option to, I will. I will. <clears throat> USC... Alright, yeah, Darren Young. Ooh, feisty. Let's see that it's there. USA. There's no other signs. Smackdown crowds are not allowed to bring their signs tonight. Only a few of them were special and could. No one else is allowed. There's a few celebrities that brought their own signs. But except for that, no one else is allowed to bring signs. That is the Smackdown rule. Teddy Long put that rule into practice. Only a few... Only a few men were allowed their very own signs. Prime time something. I saw prime time. Maybe some prime time players. I don't know. I saw prime time. Rio. Get that sign out of here. It slams us down. Prime time players, baby. Oh, prime time players, baby. There's, there's only one prime time player, and there's another Rio sign. <laughs> Why am I reading signs? That's how bored I am. I don't really, I didn't really want to record this, but I need to get as many videos out as I can because I go back to school on June the second, and I want to get money out, money out, not money out, money in the bank out of the way before um, um, time, I want to get money in the bank out of the way and get it completed. Before I go back to school, that's what I'm trying to say. Time to tick out. I saw a sign that said time to get out, tick out the ghetto or something. So I'm assuming ghetto's got something to do with prime time players. And the ghetto blaster was Damien Sandow. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Um. Anyway, yeah. Uh, Ws having to come back, but Darren Young deciding power slam bitch. And what the hell was that saying? He's just sign of a put. Oh, it's Ricardo Rodriguez. Oh, I wonder what that was. And W is going to make a comeback now. Oh no. I'm hoping W wins just because he's the better guy, and we'll have both prime time players in there. And I only wanted one in, so. Uh oh. Darren Young needs to reverse, but he's not going on. He's in now because it's a comeback. He's going for uh something. The cat really wants to get my room. And Dario. Oh, getting reversed by Darren Young and Darren Young with a huge forearm and. Crap, piss off. Fight up, Dario. Come on, Dario. I know you have it in you. Sweet! Refuse to quit. Refuse his lip. That's going to be it. No! Darren Young re reversing. No, Dario reversing. No, Darren Young reversing. The worst thing is I can't even stop this because I'm not playing. Oh, Del Rio steals it! What a steal by Del Rio. Where's Ricardo then? Ricky Ricardo. Just that face makes it makes it all the file. That face on the Rio makes the universe mode all worthwhile. Anyway, up next is the third match, and we're only 15 minutes in. This might even be shorter than the main event. <laughs> is Wade Barra and Sheamus. 
Well, the main event was 45 minutes, so... Smackdown might even be shorter than that, I don't know. Bad news, Barrett, yeah, bad news. Bad news, Barrett, yeah. I'm afraid I've got some bad news. Fella! Cesaro, 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 Raza, Raza, Raza. So this is Sheamus making his return, and in his return, will he get into money in the bank? Oh, I don't know. I will the English Intercontinental Champion, who has bad news, get uh, not get burped, but get the win. Sorry, excuse my gas. Um, Seamus is unloaded. Fuck off, lol. You stole my line. Mm, a coke. We're Barrett reversing and backbreaker by the Barrett Ski. Barrett Ski. And the cat seems to have appeared to have pissed off. Although maybe it's still there. See the shadow outside my door. It's stalking me. If this SmackDown like is really short, I'm gonna put the main event as epic, so it's quite a, a good long main event. Because I want a decent length SmackDown. I want SmackDown to be longer than main event. Shub looks. That's enough, Seamus. Let him go. God damn, Seamus. We've got some referee calls in this game. They've just not got many. I just heard the dog go, so I think that is my dad home for real now. Because my mum's, my mum's out till 7 and the time is... 25 to 7. So, I think... That's my dad. Oh, my si no, my sister's out with the boyfriend, so... Probably my dad. Oh, la, 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 la. how to be alone all the time, making videos for nobody that nobody will watch. I should I should make a video on that, just a video on making videos that, that nobody will watch and being forever alone. Yeah, Sounds like a nice video title, but I don't think YouTube will let you have titles that long, which is a shame, but you know. Barrett, Reversalizer. Every time someone hits a reversal, it is not a reversal, it is a reversalizer. Like a breathalyzer. Or a barretalyzer. Neck breaker. Neck broken. I wonder if anyone's neck's ever been broken from a neck breaker. Or anyone's back has ever been broken from a back breaker. It, it intrigues me. Go Seamus! Go Seamus! 
go Seamus fella white noise this could signal the end for bad news Barrett of the bad news Barrett clan maybe not let's see two no it's not over yet mate and then over to the fat Barrett sings Barrett with a suplex. So I said it like that, but you know, suplex. Su suple. The suplexi. The suplexi plaxer. The plexi plaxer. The super. The superplex. Potato. Wings of change. That's gotta be it. That has put down other superstars, such as William Regal and Seamus. It didn't actually put down William Regal, but it has put down Seamus. It put down a few of the guys, but... Barrett goes on to Money in the Bank. Here's your winner, Wayne Barrett. What an incredible match. That one could have gone either way. Nobody has anything to be ashamed of in this one. Fourth match was in within 22 minutes. Hmm. Smackdown's looking a little thin on the matches. Maybe I'll play this one. I think I will play this one. Yeah, I'm gonna play this one. I've decided. You can't choose my mind now. I'm playing it because the Smackdown's too short. Needs to be at least 50 minutes, or at least longer than main event. The guy I want to win wins this match and then Randy Orton wins the main event. We've actually got a pretty good Smackdown money in the bank ladder match. <laughs> Ought to be Reigns because Reigns have pushed for quite... I've actually sort of pushed in my universe. So to continue that push you need to get some money in the bank. Definitely. JBL have been pushing as well but more towards a minor title. 
I don't think I'm going to push, push him towards a major yet. Maybe in the future. <laughs> One count out of a power bomb. That's JBL's finisher. <laughs> Samoan drop. Oh, is it me or has this game got easier? I think this game's got easier, even though it's on normal difficulty. I might move up to hard difficulty, I don't know. Because Raw was 1 hour 12, ECW was uh, about an hour, 55 minutes or something. The main event was longer, so I don't know why Smackdown's been... I don't know why Smackdown's shorter than it usually is. If it's had a positive effect on all the other shows, it should have a positive effect on this show. Roman Reigns is getting dominated on the outside here. Unlike the unlike the actual um, unlike the three matches before this, I'm actually going to make this a proper match. I'm not going to make it like a squash, like Barrett and Sheamus, or uh, Darren Young and Del Rio. Or, well, Tyson Neal wasn't really. Tyson Neal was sort of a squash. Not really. I don't know how the white noise Barrett kicked out of, but the wind of change Sheamus couldn't. Oh well. We might have a double champion eventually. What with Barrett being Intercontinental Champion and possibly winning Money in the Bank. Turned out Money in the Bank who is Money in the Bank. And just spoilers now, I'm not going to be playing any of the Money in the Bank matches. Except for one. I'm going to be playing the ECW one just because time with it. And the phone's being dodgy and laggy, so sorry for that. If the phone does lag like it's doing, uh, I'm sorry, I can't help that. It's just the phone is shining. I was going to swear, but my dad's in the next room, so I better not. Backbreaker. Now into the ring post? No. Okay. Not into the ring post. How's JBL turning the tables? I don't see JBL turning any tape. Okay, this could be a table turner for JBL. Uh, no, he isn't. But Reigns still managing to hit a, hit a clothesline on JBL and go for the pin. One, two, count. Reigns wants to prove that he's dominant over every other SmackDown guy. Beating his chest like a monkey or gorilla or whatever. Mm. And now Roman Reigns running to on that. Oh, Superman. Oh, for fuck's sake, I hate him. Wait till he gets up. Now Reigns in the corner. Reigns ready. Reigns set. Reigns go. Oh, fuck. Oh, wow. Okay, whatever. John DL, John Bull Looker. Ah, uh, because you're a, you're, a, you're a d don't know. <laughs> oh my God, I can't do drugs. <laughs> oh piss! I couldn't drag for help. Beer outside. God damn, JBL scored. Rain saying he'll take the win by count out. JBL saying no, you won't. Rain's going for a STO, obviously. And then that's the that move is this move or our pin. God damn. I was meant to spear him on the outside, get counted out or something. Make him come back in and I don't know. Oh well. And go for the pin. Oh, it's ropes. Uh oh. Oh, JBL and elbow and another elbow and. Oh, shin. 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 Yeah. 
Wow, yeah. Yeah, celebrate my terrible close knock on the panel. Oh, oops. JBL just showing off. That Dolph Ziggler. The JBL actually failing at the close line from hell, which gives Roman Reigns, I suppose, an advantage. And now go for the pin. We go one count, I do two count, and a kick out count. And JBL kicks out and gets a signature. Great. Hell no. Hell no. Wow, 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 wow. Onto the steps, onto the steps. Oh my god. Grossum. Grossum. How about you go away, ref? I don't know actually like you, ref. Uh oh, did you really come back in? Yes, he is. Superman punch. And now. Setting up the spear. Ooh, ah. Oh, that's a power bomb. Oh. Spear! That is definitely the best spear on the game. And now, Reigns goes for the pin. One, two, three. Reigns picks up the win. Oh damn. I'm not gonna make I'm not gonna make the main event epic because Undertaker's entry is gonna take up most of it, so why Darren Young came out to confront Roman Reigns, I don't know. Why Roman Reigns was looking the complete wrong way, I also don't know. Oh well. Randy Orton, Cody Rhodes, Mike Henry and Undertaker. I want the guy on the left to win, but the guy on the right will probably win. Maybe the guy on the second right.
That's all right, I'll turn out next, but you know, who cares? Undertaker would be next, why not? Final man for some reason. All right, okay, okay, I understand now. I understand now. All right. I just see the point in this, but okay, go for it. Oh, what an attacking road. That is just that's not something you like to see. And now Rhodes is somehow standing up again and Undertaker's the one who's hurt and Undertaker's the one who's about to get RKO'd. Okay. Okay. Okay, this could be over before it begins. Undertaker kicks out. <laughs> that could have been over before it began. Why Orton attacked Rhodes and then Undertaker was laid out and RKO'd? I don't know. But okay, we're now underway of this match. It is one fall to the finish, which means whoever gets the pin first goes on to Money in the Bank. And I obviously have not thought, thought it through because after this there will be only five guys in the Money in the Bank. I have not thought, thought this through. That's not what I'm going to do. There's going to be a surprise return at Money in the Bank. And he will be the sixth man in a ladder match. If I can make it happen, it'll be amazing. If I can't make it happen, then I don't know. But I'm hopefully going to be able to make it happen. It'll be quite cool if I can actually get him. Or make him. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know how good it'll look when I've made him up. But I'm not telling anyone who it is. I ain't revealing nothing. He was a wrestler before, but he's not anymore. That's a clue. He's also not made an appearance on his universe mode. Obviously not because it's a it's, a, it's a, not a return. It's a surprise debut. Is what I meant. Not a surprise return. But well, uh, okay. Orton obviously has more power than Undertaker. Yeah. Who knew, who didn't know that? Everyone knows that. I bet you Matt Henry's going to win or something. No. Undertaker sort of won. There is no disqualification, so any of these men could go for a, 
a weapon at any time. It looks like Cody Rhodes is going for one of those DDTs. Oh, maybe not. It looks like Undertaker's going for a... No! I was going to say Undertaker's going for a tombstone, but no. And Orton! Orton's going to try and win off that. And and uh, one... No, 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 no. And now Orton uh, actually looking to do something. Oh, he's doing his DDT. DDT. Please. No. I don't want to turn that quick. But it's going to, isn't it? Oh no, Undertaker reversal! Oh, Tomb! Stone! Pile Driver! I go for the pin off that. Oh! Orton kicks out in two and a half. How did Orton kick out of that? Uh, Orton and Akio, okay. Oh wow! Undertaker just sits straight back up. One no cell on the crossroads. Uh, crossroads by Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes unable to capitalise because Undertaker's just started attacking him. And maybe the guy who I want to win might win. Oh, backbreaker. Oh, two and a half. Matt Henry kicks out that. This has been a pretty. I, don't know, I know this is going to end up being a pretty sharp match, but it's still a good match. One, two, no. Randy Orton manages to. No, I mean Henry, I'm sorry. Whoa! Two and a half on Cody Rhodes. And Matt Henry, well, strongest slam. Uh oh. Could be it. Oh, two and a half on Orton. Both these men have kicked out. All these men have kicked out two and a half. And Taker kicks out one off the roll by Cody. Splash in the corner by Henry. Irish by Cody. Going into a neck breaker. Swinging neck breaker, sorry. And a knee to the skull. Right, now the match can finish whenever now because it's seven or eight minutes long, so you can finish whenever. Oh. One, two. Oh, Mike Henry kicks out the roll up. And Mike Henry managed to break it up just before Rhodes taps. And I think Rhodes was going to tap there, so it's a good job with Rhodes. Um, oh, I'm sorry, stopped it. I mean, Henry, sorry. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh, Rhodes almost won. I don't know what I was saying shit for because that would be pretty cool if Rhodes won. Because he'd get another shot at the world title. And both Orton and Rhodes are in the corner. Undertaker and Hen or Henry could win off this and headbutt. That's not going to be it. That's not going to be it. Oh no. Taker kicks out. Last ride. Last freaking ride by the freaking under freaking Taker. And Undertaker wins so while Orton was trying to set up the punt. And Orton going for the punt anyway. Oh my god. Orton went for the punt anyway. Undertaker's the final man in the Money in the Bank match. So there's your final man, or your fifth man, in the match. So Undertaker defeats the rest of the competition and secures a place at money in the, in the Money in the Bank ladder match. So, to confirm, I'm going to try and remember all these now. I'm going to try and remember who was in it. Uh, let me go to the uh, rankings and this will help me. So who who uh, qualified? First of all, the, oh, I actually can't remember. Sorry. Uh, wait. No, I don't even remember. I'm I'm blank. I've blanked out. I know Stone Cold won a match, and I know Triple H won a match. I know Ric Flair won a match, and I know that 
I had a right back one match, and I also know that that's all I can remember. So, all right, that's it. I can I'll, I'll name them all next episode. I'm gonna try and remember some of these W ones. Uh, Andre the Giant and King Kong Bundy were qualified. Zack Ryder qualified. Uh, Christian qualified. Rob Van Dam qualified. And there's one big man, other big man who qualified. Yokozuna qualified. So that was six of them, and if you didn't get all that, I'll do it all next next episode. Uh, so qualified in this match was Roman Reigns, Alberto Del Rio, uh, Wade Barrett, Undertaker, Titus O'Neil, and there's going to be the sixth mystery person. So I only got four for Rob, I got the six of the rest of them. So I'll go over them next uh, episode at the start, and I will see you next time, which will be tomorrow for some Monday Night Raw. Bye-bye.